today we are going to be making a multiples chart. So it's a little different than a multiplication chart, but it is very related. So you want to have your paper out, and I went ahead and did this, but you'll want to number each row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And you can pause the video to give yourself time to do that. Next thing you want to do is have some colored pencils, and depending on how colorful you want this, you'll have anywhere from 5 to 10 colors. Um, now I'm going to get you started on the first page, and then I think you'll start to see the pattern and you'll be able to finish it on your own. In this first row, we're counting by ones. And so, as you might guess, we'll start with one, and you're going to color in every single number. Because when we count by ones, we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. Now you'll notice the numbers don't stop at 11. There's another page that goes to 23, to 35, to 47, and all the way to 50. And you are going to color ones all the way down for your first row. So the first row on every page, you're coloring your ones. And mine are blue, all the way to 50. Okay, you'll do a nicer job than that, but I'm just trying to get through this quickly so you can get started. The next row we're counting by twos. So you'll want to choose a different color. And we're going to start with two. And then we're gonna color in every other number because counting by twos, we count two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, and so on. So that in this row, you're coloring all the even numbers or every other number counting by twos. And in the third row, we're counting by threes. So we'll start with three, count three more is six, three more is nine, three more is 12, and you'll keep on going all the way till 50 or whatever number you stop at. And what you're gonna start to notice is patterns. So you'll see that um, one and two both share four, um, and they both share two and they both share six, but they don't share three. Um, but they ones, twos, and threes all share six. So when you're finished, you will have this beautiful chart with your multiples one through 10, and you'll start to see patterns of common multiples. So you'll keep going, starting this row with four, the next one with five, the next one with six, the next one with seven. You'll wanna use different colors, but I'm just showing you the next one's eight, nine, and 10. So on this last row, you're just counting by tens. So on the next page, you're just gonna color in 20 and 30, and there are two more, 40 and 50, okay? So take your time to do a nice job coloring all your multiples. Please use color pencil because if you make a mistake, you can always erase. And then the next step is to cut this out, but we're not going to cut everything. We're just going to cut right here right on the line, you're going to cut right here on the line, right here, and right here, and that's it. And once you've cut, then you are going to come through and connect these, and you're going to tape them together so that it is one long continuous chart and you will have a cool display of multiples. We'll figure out putting these on the wall and getting them into your notebooks when you're done.